So welcome into this video where we're going to look at the very important skill of active listening, a fundamental skill to have in both work and social life. It is that important. Active listening is a key thing that you need to know and it's coming up in this video. So those important things that you need to know to be able to listen actively in your work, social and love life, it's a tool for life, not a tool for work, are coming up in a moment. But if you like videos like this, then consider subscribing. Hit the subscribe button down there. Yeah, because I bring you development with a difference. Not the boring old school kind of teacher style training. No, not about that life. So if you want to update yourself rather than the software on your phone all the time, then you're in the right place. Hit the subscribe button. So what is active listening? I'd be interested to know what you think it is. So in the comments below, this is strange. You haven't even reached the end of the video and I'm asking you to put comments below. But just wait, bear with me. Pause the video. Pause the video and just quickly write a sentence below about what you think active listening is before you get to the end of the video. I'm gonna have a little look through these comments and just see how it changes. Because then at the end you can put kind of what you already thought you knew or what you didn't know and what you've learned from the video. But pause it, I'll wait right here. But welcome back. For those of you that pause the video, you're here. For those of you that didn't pause the video, you just had to enjoy me rubbing my hands together. So let's get into it. What is active listening? Well, it is, a, it is listening to an individual or person without multitasking, judging the person, or allowing your mind to wander. Judging, multitasking, allowing your mind to wander. Let's go over those categories. Judging. So if you're judging a person, then you're not actively listening. And, and what do I mean by this? Well, quite simply is, as humans, we... We go on first impressions and first impressions are important in a number of areas. For example, if you're going for a job, you want to dress smart. If you're going on a date, you want to be looking smart. You want to be looking nice. You want to be smelling nice. You want to make sure you've done your hair. In certain areas, by judging or going on that first impression, you're going to cause a problem. And active listening is one of those because you might have dealt with someone before. You might be speaking to a complete stranger that might look a little bit different to you. You might be dealing with a loved one or a friend or someone that you, you think is lying about something. If you're instantly gonna judge that person, then you're gonna put up a wall. The minute you've put up that wall, it's very hard for that information, that communication to get over that wall because you've already got this negative first impression about what that person is going to say, not what they're actually saying. So when it comes to active listening, Bear in mind that if you're judging that person, not by saying it out loud, but in your mind, then you're not actually listening to what they are saying and trying to take the content, the, the meaning behind what they're saying. So when it comes to active listening, don't judge. Drop those first impressions. Wait for you to have the full information, the full message, the full content before you make your decisions, your choices, your assumptions. Multitasking. So multitasking is as simple as it sounds. Unless what you are doing is currently saving someone's life or something that if you stop is dangerous to others then, then stop it listen to the person that's trying to converse with you pay full attention to them do not multitask because we've all been in situations like this yeah 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 all right yeah if you want yeah all right because it's rude not even having the common courtesy to look somebody in the eyes if you want to find out the eight things that make you suck at customer service, then check out the video above, here, somewhere. I'll put a little link in there. That is my video on the eight reasons you suck at customer service and rudeness is a major factor of it. Let's get back to active listening. Multitasking, stop what you were doing. Pay attention to the person. Because if you don't and they continue to talk, they will know that you're not paying attention, that you're not listening. They'll stand there thinking, oh, they have not listened about that or... That, that's not going to get done because I haven't listened. And remember, I'm not just talking in a work sense. I'm talking in general. If your loved one's asking you questions, us gents and ain't being sexist here, we, we kind of switch off sometimes. You know, we have this little person at the top making notes for us so we hopefully can answer a question they fire at us. But listen, pay attention. Because if you was to be asked a question, you want to be able to answer it. So by multitasking, your mind is split. You, you are on two different tasks and you cannot focus on what that person is trying to say to you. So don't multitask. Allowing your mind to wander. Don't allow your mind to wander. Yes, don't do that. The main reason is it's rude. We've already talked about being rude. But if you're thinking about 
going home, chucking your pyjamas on, laying on the sofa and watching the, the latest series of your favourite show. Brilliant. You can do that, but don't think about it when they're trying to talk to you. Don't be thinking about what you're going to eat for dinner or the lunch you're just about to go and have. Think about what the person is saying to you. Listen actively to everything about what they're saying to you. The, the emotions behind it, the feelings, the content, the, the words that they're using. Pay attention and don't allow your mind to wander. Another thing when it comes to active listening, when it comes to active listening, you should ask clarifying questions when it comes to you speaking back, when it comes to you replying. So if it's something that you need to know, ask clarifying questions, questions that are gonna give you additional information, further knowledge to be able to help that person or to be able to do what they're asking of you. So ask clarifying questions and listen to the answers. Bonus tips when it comes to active listening. Stay engaged. Number one, it's common courtesy. Okay, what the person might be talking about might not excite you. It might not be something that you personally deal with in the workplace. It might not be an area that you are really driven by. But stay engaged. It is common courtesy. Don't stand there and yawn. Don't kind of switch off. You need to stay connected to that conversation. It is important. Likewise, if you're talking to somebody about your passion or what excites you, you don't want to be seeing them stood there yawning. It's not nice. So stay engaged. Another thing when it comes to active listening, take notes. Now, if you work in a contact or call center, then brilliant. When you actively listen, you can have a pad, a notepad and pen or pencil to hand, and you can make notes about what the person's talking to you when it comes to a work sense. If you're working face to face with somebody in a work element, then you can make mental notes. Pick out the points that are important, and you're not gonna be able to do that if you're, if you're multitasking, if you're allowing your mind to wander, if you're judging that person. So by taking notes, whether it's physical or mental notes, you're going to be able to do the next tip, which is summarise. The final point of active listening is being able to summarise what the person has said. Being able to summarise is recapping certain parts of information. So somebody might be talking to you and then you can recap what they've said because it instills confidence that you've listened to them. Yes, love, I'll take the bins out, put the washing away and cook your dinner for when you get in at six. There you have the important things that you need to know when it comes to active listening. And you know what? You can start right now. The next person that you speak to, actively listen. And I can guarantee they will go away from that conversation, not knowing you just practiced active listening, but thinking, oh, listen to me. You'll be a person that people enjoy speaking to and having a conversation with. You'll be a conversationalist. That's a word, I'm sure it's a word. If you like this video, hit the like button for me and consider subscribing because I'm all about personal development and self-learning. About your work life, your social life, your love life. It's development with a difference. So if you want that, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you soon.